Recently, we heard from the Department of Homeland Security that migrants in the caravan that were storming the U.S. border were mostly men and they were using women and children as human shields. Now, that rhetoric may be hyperbolic, but we have heard from Border Patrol that women and children were seen standing in front of men who were throwing rocks. Whether or not you believe that was intentional, well, the Department of Homeland Security believes it is. I'm getting sick and tired of the conspiracy theories. People on the left telling me that my video yesterday was fake news and that I'm lying because I presented numerous sources showing that many of the people who are at the border, who are storming the border, are not asylum seekers. Why? Because the people seeking asylum actually applied in Mexico. Because they are good people who need help, who have accepted aid from Mexico. And we are also learning from MSNBC that most of the people are men who are not seeking asylum. It is not a conspiracy. Homeland Security isn't lying. Border Patrol isn't lying. MSNBC and CNN are not lying. These are the facts. There are mostly men who are rushing the US border. So today, let's take a look at the latest update and see what MSNBC and CNN said about what's actually going on at the border. But before we get started, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Timcast if you want to support my work. Patrons are the backbone of the content I create. So if you like these videos and you want to see more, please go to patreon.com forward slash Timcast and become a patron today. CNN starts with a critical approach to Trump's claim about grabbers grabbing children. With the story, Trump claims migrants grab children to cross southern border for favored status. Trump, speaking at a roundtable event in Biloxi, Mississippi, described what he called grabbers, migrants who grab children and think they'll have a certain status by having a child. He alluded to people with children in the group as possibly not being their parents. In some cases, you know they're not the parents, the president said. These are people, they call them grabbers. They grab a child because they think they'll have a certain status by having a child, you know. You have certain advantages in terms of our crazy laws that frankly, Congress should be changing. They say, when asked for evidence of his claim by reporters, Trump demurred. It's a term that's used because as you know, many people, it's a very violent, horrible thing that they feel they have an advantage when they're with a young child and they call them grabbers, he said. CNN says, the term grabber has not been widely used. And that's true, but just because it's not mainstream doesn't mean the term doesn't exist, though I do think it's fair to criticize. But the reason I think it's important to bring this up is that it plays into the idea of human shields. In a statement Monday night, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen said some members of the group are using women and children as human shields. The caravan members are predominantly male. It appears in some cases that the limited number of women and children in the caravan are being used by the organizers as human shields when they confront law enforcement. They are being put at risk by the caravan organizers, as we saw at the Mexico-Guatemala border. This is putting vulnerable people in harm's way. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin Michelinen told Chris Cuomo on CNN's Cuomo Primetime that the Border Patrol chief on the scene said he had seen women and children standing in front of a group that was throwing rocks. He saw people throwing rocks right next to women and children. They did that, actually behind members of the media as well. I have seen video of a scene where rock throwers are hiding behind camera people taking photographs of them while they are throwing the rocks. So it was a really dynamic, challenging situation that our agents tried to resolve as safely as possible and were really successful overall. Homeland Security said, that there were criminals in the caravan. We know that's true because many people have actually been arrested and many people are going to be deported for committing crimes. DHS said the group would rush the border. They did. We also heard from a statement from one of the migrants that they were planning on rushing the border. They did. DHS was right. They were right every single time. Now, I certainly think the Trump administration has been a bit hyperbolic. Maybe human shields is a little bit strong language, but even MSNBC has reported it is mostly men who do not want asylum. I want to start by mentioning I'm not a huge fan of using the Daily Caller as a source. I will comment on their stories in some videos, but they do aggregate an MSNBC report with important information. They say MSNBC anchor Stephanie Rule asked Schwartz to characterize the group of migrants he's encountered, stating, some people look at these images and they listen to the president who says it's not women and children, it's stone cold criminals. Give us the profile of who's there mostly and what they're looking for, she added. In the video, Swartz explained that there are a lot of families in the inner sanctum of the shelter, but revealed that outside of the tent city, there are scores of men trying to cross the border. The truth is, the majority of the people that are in this caravan, especially outside, if we can make our way all the way over there, we'll show you the majority of them are men. From what we've seen, the majority are actually men, and some of these men have not articulated that need for asylum. Schwartz said that a lot of the men in the caravan have shared economic reasons for migrating or have expressed a desire for a better life. CNN is critical, but they still present these statements. 
that it is mostly men, that they hide behind the media, that they stand behind women and children as they throw rocks. And that presents an extremely difficult situation. But we've actually heard direct reporting from MSNBC staff saying these men have not articulated a need for asylum. They've actually said economic reasons. And this is in line with every single other report I have presented. Over the past month, I have covered this story rather extensively. Even Vox.com shows in numerous statements, many of the people are economic migrants, not asylum seekers. Yet over and over again, activists, politicians, people on the left claim that those storming the border were seeking asylum, but they weren't. They didn't ask for asylum. And according to Customs and Border Patrol, most of the people who were there were men. According to MSNBC for the third time, mostly men. Why then do I have to constantly argue with people on the left that this is not fake news? That when you have the left and the right in media in agreement as to what's actually going on, it's not a conspiracy. When DHS is reporting this is what's happening, it is not a conspiracy. They are not lying and making things up because they just don't like brown people. That's not what's happening. And it's rather frustrating when people refuse to believe what's coming from mainstream press simply because it conflicts with their view of the world. The same can be true for the right, absolutely. The right will call something fake news if they don't like it. The left will call something fake news if they don't like it. But it is constantly the left claiming that it is Trump who is damaging the free press. They're claiming that Trump is besmirching the good name of journalists, when in reality, when MSNBC, when left-wing outlets say, hey, it's mostly economic migrant men, not asylum seekers. They say, well, that's fake news. MSM lies. You can't pick and choose to trust them or not. Either you trust them or you don't. Because even on CNN, they brought on CBP who said it was mostly men. On CNN New Day, they even tweeted this, quote, I kind of challenge that it was a peaceful protest, but the majority of these people were claiming asylum, says the chief patrol agent, San Diego Sector Border Control, explaining the decision to use tear gas. 42 crossed the border and were arrested. This reporting was picked up by ABC News. Border Patrol official defends use of tear gas on migrants at border crossing. He said, what we saw over and over yesterday was the group, the caravan, would push women and children towards the front and then basically rocking our agents. We tried to target the instigators, specifically those assaulting the agents. But once that chemical is released, it does go through the air. He said, if they were truly asylum seekers, they would have just walked up and surrendered. And that did not take place, says the chief patrol agent, San Diego Sector Border Control, defending the decision to use tear gas. Now, just like I said yesterday, if you want to debate the use of tear gas by Border Patrol, by all means do so. There were children there. There were women there. I personally don't like the idea of tear gas being used in the vicinity of women and children. But you also have to recognize the extremely difficult situation that when Border Patrol says that they're actually pushing the women and children to the front, when Homeland Security stated the same thing weeks ago, when Homeland Security has been right about what's happening almost every step of the way. But I'm not going to play this game. And I want to end by making something really clear because I've been getting into arguments with people. This is one of the craziest issues I've ever seen. Just because you believe your country should have borders and immigration should be legal does not make you a conservative. You can believe in social policies, labor unions, civil rights, and think it's important to control your borders like so many of the labor rights activists and civil rights activists of the past who believed mass migration could displace workers, increase low-level job competition, and it's bad for unions and it's bad for individual workers. You can believe all of that. It is not a conservative position. And the left needs to get on top of this. Now, the far left, they don't care. They think the borders should be open. But if the Democrats don't get on top of this, they will lose. Because now we're seeing from Gallup that immigration is the number one issue for Americans. Not even 10 years ago, we saw Bernie Sanders claim we shouldn't have all of these guest workers coming in. It will displace wages and workers. Why now are they silent? Why are they not speaking up? I want to end by showing a graphic photograph. I'm going to blurt a little bit, but this is a very famous photograph that shows how the media frames things. In this photo, you can see that there's a woman on the ground. She is likely dead. This photo paints a very vivid picture, but the reality of what was happening is much different. But this is what it really looks like. People looking on as journalists sit around trying to get that perfect photo to frame the shot in a certain way to make you think and feel something. This is what reality actually looks like. So it's no surprise to me that this is the photo that gets shared. The iconic photo of that moment where you see the woman running with her two kids. You can feel nothing but sympathy for these people, these children who are barefoot with tear gas behind them. But the reality is this is a small moment and is not the reality of what is actually going on. 
This is just a frame that is being used to present a narrative, and it is likely not the case. Because when MSNBC tells you it's mostly men, you need to recognize while you should have empathy for this one individual family, it is not the bigger picture. We cannot sacrifice those who truly need aid and asylum simply because there is a photograph that looks sympathetic. It is not representative of what is actually going on. By all accounts, those who actually want asylum applied in Mexico. And many people who didn't want to take Mexican asylum are applying at the border legally. Those are the people who want asylum. Because we've learned, again, for the millionth time from MSNBC, most of the men who are there, most of the people are men, and they have articulated that they're there for economic reasons. I am sick of the lies. I am sick of the conspiracy theorists. Something is really going on here, and we need to be real about it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. You can follow me on Twitter at TimCast. Stay tuned. New videos every day at 4 p.m. And I'll have more videos up on my second channel, youtube.com slash TimCastNews, starting at 6 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all next time.